Hi. It's me, Rachel. And this is the face of someone who. Someone who just lost about two hours of recording. I was playing Harvester for a long time and recording it all. And then. Um, I guess I ran out of disk space on my hard drive and um, everything kind of crashed. Um, the game didn't crash, but the, my, the, my webcam software crashed and um, the footage in OBS also isn't working. Um, And also, I overwrote my save file, so I don't know how to get back to the point I was in the game. Uh, I'm really upset. Um, I was going so long without making, like, having these types of mistakes with recording, and I just feel really, um, depressed. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I... I might just start a game over and, like, really try to quickly just follow a walkthrough and get to the point I was in the game, which sucks because I was right in the middle of the game. I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And anyway. Yeah, happy Cinco de Mayo. Haha, <sighs> <laughs> I was really sad, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I fucked that up really bad. But I'm back. It turns out that I had a save file that, um, from later in the game that allowed me to catch up to where I was within, like, 20 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah, so, um, and I have all my settings reconfigured so it saves on my different, um, hard drive, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk you through what happened in the footage that, uh, I lost which actually was a pretty small portion of the game. Um, and most of my recording was just me wandering around lost, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know, why am I doing this accent? Um, so the only thing is that I lost a lot of my organic responses to some really weird shit, but you know, um, shit happens, but um, you know, let's just do this. Oh, and have a new camera angle. Hopefully this one doesn't emphasize my double chin as much. I mean, it's still there, but like, I mean... Well, anyway, um, first of all, let's just, uh, the last thing that happened was that, um, we found Karen, took her back to Edna, we got the piece of cloth from the fireman, Oh yeah, and this part of the game has a lot of homophobic remarks, but it's like set in the 50s or whatever, so like... What are you gonna do? What am I doing this? Let's just... Uh, I drank too much coffee and I only ate like um, a bowl of Fruity Pebbles, so I think I might throw up at some point. So let's just um, hope that doesn't happen. Let's just talk to some people first. Hello dear, how are you today? You know those firemen? The funny ones with the color sense? Looks like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, Mother. I wonder why. I warned you not to waste time looking for her. Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for what happened to her. 
What a silly little girl. I believe Shame her. on you. Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? I don't think so. Why would she lie? Okay, Weisenheimer. Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, and an attempted murderer, that's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. I just can't wait for the wedding. Can you? Like, who wrote this game? Like, who wrote this game? Um, and if you see me looking to the side even more than normal, that's because I'm really, really paranoid that something is going wrong with the recording. And I just realized I really do need to eat something, so I'm going to be Don't right forget there. to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Alright, I feel better now. I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up now. Alright, so Mom's weird. Let's talk to her horrible little brother. Leave me alone, will ya? This is the good part. Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that bath would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like, being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me, and twitched, and drew up. <laughs> Guess I got my answer. Huh. Good. Some of the, like, like, I was just saying that some of the writing is really, um, oops, I gotta get the paper first. Some of the writing is really strikingly dark and, um, really sardonic, which I, I, I really dig the writing. It's, um, honestly, like, I don't know what happened to the creator of this game. I, I should look it up, but, um. I mean, this was like 1996. I think this was really, um... I don't want to say ahead of its time. Um, but I've never encountered a game with this just kind of really dark. Thematically dark and just like... Um, hey, I don't Steve, know what the fuck I'm you've saying. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? And I've, I've already mentioned uh, that the similarities between Twin Peaks and See this you later, game, but I'm, I'm trying to think of, of any other um, media that has this... I don't know, I've never... This is such a weirdly unique experience. So, what I noticed was that... Um, Last time, we got Dad to sign the meat pay permission slip, but we didn't act. Excuse me. Ugh. We didn't actually talk to him, and he has a Steve, lot to say. Is so that you? Come to see your poor old dad. Are you my father? Really? I don't remember you. Please. Wait for it. I'm not in the mood for jokes. Hold on. I'm serious. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Just don't make me laugh now. Remember the stitches. My God. What has she done to you? She doesn't know you're here, does she? Does she? No, I had to break in. What the hell is going on in here? I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have that special father-son talk. Especially now that you're getting... married. I'd like that. <laughs> then listen. I can't talk very loud. It's the tracheotomy. When a man and a woman love each other very much, they go into a room alone and shut the door and bolt it with at least three locks and prop a chair under the doorknob so no one can get in or out. Then they take off their clothes and get out a wide variety of scalpels 
some curved, some short, all of them sharp. And then the man climbs on the woman, and then they... With the barbed wire, they... That's all right. Don't get worked up. You need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason. For risking it. No, I just wanted to see how you're doing. Son, I'd like to talk to you. There was something terrible I wanted to warn you about, but I can't think of it now. Still, you've got to go before she catches us. Go now and quickly. Marv, what's going on in there? Go! Go! So, like last time, I tested it, and is my microphone too close to my mouth? Whatever. Um, and she won't actually come in and break through the door, but I have something to show you later. Let's get out of here. And like I always do, let's go to the Potsdam residence and um, talk to Stephanie and her horrible fucking father. Did you say hello? Does he have anything to say? Thank uh, God. Da, 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 da. I could yeah. use some good news right now. Me. You molested me. Yeah, I know what that crazy alive. little bitch said, but it's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch Wait, for me. we already me. did this. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Forget the pot roast, Mother. Pot roast isn't for backstabbers. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! We did it's this the already. Truth. That's why. <laughs> Someone uh, went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratched tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. Those silly woolies down at the fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. Yeah, what the hell, like, um, is that fabric we stole? Like, I don't know. Um, and let's talk to the mom. You might want to be extra nice to Mr. Guess we're having a wedding. You know that. Give my regards to your parents. She has nothing to say. Okay. Um... Let's go up to Stephanie. <sighs> At least I hope that everything I've talked to with Stephanie is up to um, recently. Because I've noticed that like if you don't talk to them about the latest thing that happened, they'll like save it and then Steve. talk. I'm no, sorry. No. Want to hear what's happening out in the real world? No. I'd rather forget about Harvest for a while. Come here. Stephanie? Oh no, we already did this. I, I don't so want to. Uh, I need the sense I. Maybe. Maybe the bu Let's Then take me now. Let's just watch this again because it's so good. It is so good. Oscar. 
Where is her Oscar? Um. But yeah. I'm glad to see. Nah, 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 nah. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. I've always wanted to talk. Any idea about who scratched before. the car? Why would you? It's part of. I did. I Look, da, 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 I don't. Da, 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 By committing. Da, 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 da. It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so mellow. Sorry. You know the firemen? Someone stole some fabric from them, and they're up in arms about it. I took the Another cloth that was part prank? of the initiation. And how many more harmless pranks will you be pulling? However many it takes to get in, Stephanie. If I have to use them to escape, then I will. Are you using them? Or are they using you? It was just a bolt of cloth. You've turned the firemen against each other. They think one of their own stole it. Would you rather stay here? I've heard that harvest is lovely in the fall when the leaves turn orange and gold and the annual blood drive paints the town red. All right, all right. You have a point. Is it true? You found Karen? Yeah, just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... With that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So... At least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Come back and they visit won't. me soon, okay? Yeah, I tried um, going to the um, the police to like um, not nothing, nothing like. Yeah, going to the police won't work. Um. You know, going to the wasp lady, I have no idea what the wasp lady is there for. She has, like, I, I don't know, maybe something later will happen in the game. Um, I don't like this guy. Let's, Someone, I don't think he has anything important to say. My Tucker, my baby, my poor darling, my sweet cheeks. If I find out who... Why couldn't they have scratched the hell out of that rickety fire truck instead of my Tucker? Those firemen are carrying on like the world is ending. Just because someone stole some of their foo foo cloth, someone ought to tell them that the world already ended. I should know. I was there. Good work rescuing Karen. Of course, you queered my play with Edna, <laughs> but I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? Bye now. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Bye now. Um, let's just go around in a circle. Nothing's at the mortuary. Um, if we go to the fire station, it's like completely like we can't go in there or anything. Um. Uh, nothing's here. Yeah, if we go to the police station, if you try to talk to them and tell them that Mr. Potsdam molested Karen, like, I don't even think Boy, it's an option. The way you like, keep pestering me, you'd think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? I got a report here that someone put a ding on Johnson's tucker. <laughs> as honor as Johnson is about that old car, I suppose he had it coming. I imagine it was just some kids pulling a prank. I'm nowhere near solving the Tucker case, and now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on around here? Yeah, like, um... There, like, you, you can't even bother. Pop on by any time, um, Steve. And then I don't want to talk to Loomis, that fucking weirdo. Sorry, I have like the hiccups or something because I ate trail mix and um, um, there's absolutely nothing so far that I've like found at the TV station. I have no idea what happens at the TV station. I don't think anything happens if you go to the school, is there? 
seeing you here again. One would think you'd never. Mr. Johnson says one of my pupils scratched his pride. Some lucky boy or girl would have been in for some quality time. Say, congratulations on finding Karen Fitzpatrick. Don't know how you did it, but if I were still publishing the Sentinel, you can bet I'd run a full profile on you. Drop in again soon. Bye. Yeah, they did such a good job, like, making these people creepy as fuck. This, this screen's always hard to exit out of, like, yeah, there we go. You have to click on the actual sign for the school. Um, I don't want to go to the meat plant. I'll go to the missile base, but I'm always afraid this guy will kill me again. So, I'm gonna, um, save real quick. Oh. I don't remember if he Who had anything there? new to say. It's just me, Steve. What do you want? That's good. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by again. I want you to infiltrate those firemen, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back unless you've got information for me. Remember. And I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't know what that's about. That's the thing about when you play, like, a game for, like, over six months, like, uh... Yeah, that's the weird thing about depression and trying to make videos on the internet, um... Sorry, son. Next no, time you here. This, um, But, you know, I am... I'm... Like, I, like, that time I worked two years just to get my entire Undertale walkthrough Let's Play done, even though nobody cared about Undertale at the end, you know, because it was like five years after Undertale came out, you know, I still did it. I'm doing it for me. Sisters doing it for themselves, you know? Um, and let's go to the barber shop. Let me show you something kind of funny that happened. So, I was trying to talk to the barber. <laughs> But I accidentally clicked the right mouse button and I just fucking killed him. <laughs> and then <laughs> Think about taking some of that And then if I talk to hands. them, they don't even like yeah. notice it. Nice to see you. Uh and then if I exit I get fucking arrested and um What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that. With so many witnesses around. You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. Yeah, and then we, we've all seen this part. Um, and then... So, uh, let's just talk to the delightful, um, barbershop people about, um... But he, Mr. Pastorelli won't talk to us. Let's talk to these people about, about the latest events. Think about taking some of that off my hands, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. I tell you, the only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of peeved sissies. They're all accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. Nice yeah. to see you again, Steve. They're gay. I can't talk That's now, the joke. son. I'm They're busy gay. with this game. Anytime, Steve. Okay. All right, and I forgot. Let's go talk to Edna. Um, I don't know if Edna has anything to say. <laughs> Should have covered my nose. I can't talk now. The dishes are stacked up and back, and I better take advantage of the lull. I feel terrible about what happened at the fire station. Those firemen helped me decorate my diner. I can't believe one of them stole that cloth from the others. It must have been someone else, don't you think? It was me! It was me, Steve! And bye then Karen bye. just says, bye-bye. Okay. 
So next we're going to the lodge. And actually, I just realized I have to pee. So I'll be right back. Again. Yeah. Be right back. Someone was in... Someone was in the ba the bathroom. Just like last time. This is the, the trouble with living with roommates. But I do like my roommates a lot. Okay, let's talk to him to get our new... Um... Exquisite quest. Car. Its loss should trigger quite a bit of dissension amongst our gallant firefighters. Still, that is not your concern. Your next assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's pole. I've had enough of this. Don't I'm no thief. Of course you are. This cloth bears witness to that truth. You've already compromised yourself. Stop here, and it was all for nothing. But that's for you to decide. Yeah, so this, uh, um, when I filmed this, I originally got pretty upset. Well, not really upset, but I was like, Oh no, Mr. Pastorelli's barber pole, because... If you remember um, a lot earlier in the game when you're talking to the two guys at the barber shop, there's this whole like conversation they have about how the the barber pole is his prized possession and he loves it so much and everything. And I was like, I don't want to take it from him. Um, yeah. So what we have to do now is uh, we go to the general store. And let's just talk to the lady really quick to see if she has any Hello, amusing Care to buy anything uh, commentary. Today? What the hell is with her hair? Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Steve, you live close to Mr. Johnson. How is he taking it? Such wanton vandalism. It just breaks my heart. I'll have to send him a nice fruit basket. Though if he wants some new fruit paint basket. and sealant, it'll cost him. Naughty fellows like Deputy Loomis aside, I think every man should cultivate an interest in girly magazines. If it'll keep them out of the field of interior design, those firemen, Betsy. I really like um, this weird idea that like that they've been talking about that like looking at porn will help you stay straight and not gay. I have a story about that, like one time my shitty ex-boyfriend's dad, who was also a shitty and abusive, just like gave him this whole stack, like this paper, this plastic bag full of like uh, Sports Illustrated, and this, my boyfriend didn't even like Sports Illustrated, he's like why the fuck would he give me this, but like in the middle of it was hidden this Playboy. Yeah, this is like in 2007 or something. Like, I don't know why the dad just like gave him a Playboy magazine hidden in all these Sports Illustrated. Like this weird male bonding, like, yes, yeah, son, look at these Photoshop titties. But I remember like, I would look at, I, we looked at the Playboy together and uh, they like Photoshop out their vulvas. It's like, I don't know, they look, that's so weird. Playboy is like, yeah, anyway. Um, so we have to give, uh, this lady the money that Edna gave us, the reward money for, um, finding Karen. That should cover it. These 1950s prices are cheap. Take what you need. And then we go to, um, here and we get the wrench and we get the tape. And then we leave and it's going to get dark. Nightfall descends upon harvest. And um, I have a couple of interesting things to show you here. Um, first of all, is that if we go to um, Edna's diner, 
it's closed. And I just thought that was funny because it says open 24 hours. But she is probably taking care of her poor traumatized daughter. Another thing, and this like made me fucking lose my shit laughing. Um, what's, what's over here at the missile base? Oh, I don't want to go there. Same, same shit. So this like was utterly insane. Like I went to our house and I thought maybe because it's nighttime, I could talk to my dad some more. But guess what happens? Just like, look at this. Wait. The mom just straight up fucking kills you. And then another thing is if we go to the fire station and go inside at night and we take off the sheet, look, and you can't click on it or anything, it's the model. Um, and obviously something happened to him, and we can't, there's nothing to click on, like nothing to click on, um, you can't even examine it, there's like no, um, there, there's like, uh, anyway, um, and then the dog won't shut up, so when you try to exit, when you try to exit, um, why can't I exit? That's weird. Because the last time that I was here, I got arrested because the dog was barking so loud. But, you know, what if... What if I take a picture? Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that didn't oh. work. Yeah, um, I tried to do a lot of things with the male model, like, he got fucking, like... That's not good, and it's just, it's just so weird because you can't, you can't, like, click on him or anything. But, when I was, um, last time I played it, the dog alerted the police or something? And I got arrested. Um. It's so weird. But let me show you, um. Maybe I'll, I'll show you another way to get arrested. Um. So let's go to the barber shop, and I really don't want to do this because it is so sad. And I took forever, like forever, to figure this puzzle out because it makes no sense. Um, let me just save it. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. Ah! Okay. So what you have to do first is I take the tape and then put it on the window and then take the the axe and break through and I'll watch this. The first time um, I tried to take it, see if you examine it, it says it's secured to the wall with straight slot screws. So I take the um, the straight slot screwdriver, that was hard to say, and then I get arrested, but I don't get killed. This is your first arrest, Steve. You just remember, we've got a three strikes, you're out rule here in Harvest. But you keep your nose clean, you hear? Okay, 
wait for this. Wait for this. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so then I go out, right? And like the house is weird at night. There's like nothing in the house. And this is when the first time that I got shot by my own mother because I, I tried to go into my dad's um, window and that's when I got killed by her. So we have to go back to the barber shop. We go in. And we have to click turn off the light switch. And then we're going to steal the yeah. barber pole. Yep. Poor Mr. Pastorelli. I I really don't want to do this. The the lodge is making me do it. And then I exit. And um oh fuck I have to pee so bad. Having acquired the barber pole, you make your way back to the house. crime and I can't tell if is this a different dream like I I don't know what do people want from me Yes, uh, we have got to the second disc of the game. So control F4. This is where we would have inserted the second CD-ROM back in the 90s. So first of all, let me save that. And we have completed another day in Harvester. But I really want to go see if the bathroom is open. Guess what? I was able to pee. Okay, so we're almost up to the point where, um, where I, um, fuck. Okay, let's just, um, something very sad happened, and this, I really don't like this. Hello, so dear. Let's talk How to are mom. you today? Did you hear what happened at the barber shop? Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and took his antique barber's pole. The next morning, Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around and was electrocuted. Well, that darn foreigner got what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. <sighs> Heavens, if a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. That's how it goes. First you get a sissy trim, then bang, you're a communist. Isn't it exciting, Steve? <laughs> Five days and 1,200 cookies later, the bake sale is already here. Where does the time fly? Those 1,200 cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about 20. The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Will you be at the school tonight? That's nice, dear. <laughs> Would it's it good miss to be it? open to new experiences. Don't you think it's Good odd cause. having a bake sale to pay for burying out-of-towners? Gosh, a hooties. What should we do? Leave them in the streets? <laughs> of course we should bury them. Gosh, but why do so many out-of-towners drop dead in harvest? I have wondered about that, and I think it has something to do with the air. But there's nothing wrong with the air. It's perfectly clean. That's what I mean. 
Big city folk, they get so used to smog that clean air is a shock to their systems. Gets them every time. Bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. I, I've never, um... I wonder what happens if you don't put the paper out for Ginny. Jimmy. Um, little horrible boy. This is the good part. You're in trouble. How's it feel to be a jailbird? How's it feel I'm to be a little punk? Know what happens to jailbirds? Just like turkeys and chickens, they wind up getting cooked. Fried. Good. As we're Fine. well aware of the electric chair that we have met um, many times so far in the game. So take the puck. He didn't take the paper, you dumbass. Um, well, here it is. Okay. There Give it to Jimmy. So easy it is. Um, I don't think anything happens if you talk what? to Dad. Oh. Bye. So yeah, we killed Mr. Pastorelli. Let me go show you. I was pretty upset about this, and you missed. There, there was a real. I was pretty melodramatic. I was like, "No, Mr. Pastorelli." <laughs> so that was some, some grade A footage that um, was lost to time, forever because uh, I'm a dumbass. Well, anyway, um. Yes, this is all that remains of poor Mr. Pastorelli and the sheep. And I f like, th that's really dark. Like, that, the poor. Anyway, and these two guys, they're not Think that choked some of that up about it. Off my hand, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. I was the one what found Pastorelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out. His body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done, too. Problem is, bulk was burnt so bad, and the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melted. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir, I didn't. Nice to see you again, Steve. I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning, and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! hot for colored glass after all. Oh yeah, it's always the aliens with Anytime, him. Anytime, Steve. Bye. Yeah, um, I, I looked it up online. At first I was really upset because I thought there was something in the game that you can do to not kill him, but no, there's like, he dies no matter what. There's like no kind of, um, he, he dies no matter what. Um, and if you go to the general store, that lady has something, um, similarly insensitive to say about it all. Hello, Steve. Those PTA busybodies have hurt my business. Something terrible this week. Nobody's buying my cookies. They're all saving up for the big bake sale. Somebody stole the barber's pole from that nice Italian. Steve, can you imagine? And then they left wide wires dangling in a puddle, which Pastorelli immediately stepped in and fried. The stupid Dago. Heavens to Betsy. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, so that was a uh, pretty, um, bad. And then, um, I think I went to, um, Stephanie's house. Uh, Did you say hello? Thank you. know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh well, Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. 
Poor Mr. Pastorelli. Hello, dear. Come to see. She's upstairs. Go. The bake sale is tonight. Seven o'clock at the school. Lots of cookies and yards of floss. Hope to see you there. Give my regards to your parents. Yards of floss. I remember that phrase really, like, confused me. Like, dental floss? Candy floss? I don't know. Um, and then Steffi and I have a pretty intense conversation up here. I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yeah, you'd think it was the second coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural. Unhealthy. Almost a parody of how things should be. And through my window at night, I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies, like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. My so-called mother has been baking cookies all week, and then throwing them out. Better that, than getting rid of us. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber, he's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the lights, and... Know anything about that? And then I decided um, to tell her the truth because I've been telling her the truth the whole game, so... I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted the pole oh for the God. initiation. Steve, her. that was no little prank. A man died. It was an accident. Forgot about the live wires in the water. That doesn't change the fact that you killed him. This initiation killed him. It was just an accident. An accident which wouldn't have happened if not for the Lodge. Don't you see? I'm beginning to think that the Lodge poisons everything it touches. Harvest. Even you. I didn't create this situation. Are you sure? No. But however it started, I'm gonna see it through to the end. Vandalism? Theft? Manslaughter? What's next, Steve? Murder? Look. I know in the beginning I suggested you might check out the Lodge. I was more worried about getting out of here than anything else. But now that I know you, I'm worried about you too. I'm fine. A man is dead because of you. How can you be fine? You've got to stop this. Tell me, is anything positive going to come out of this Lodge initiation crap? Yeah, or escape, hopefully. It just seems to me that this order of yours is getting you in deeper and deeper trouble. They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. No. But maybe when it's all said and done, you'll want to do anything. You've got to trust me. Yeah, um, they can't make you do Come anything you don't want to do. They already did okay. that. Steve, you're a little bit behind the times. They already made you kill a man. Um, I also remember trying to fix the hole in, um... I tried to go into the bathroom, and I tried to fix the hole, um, no, we already, um, in Stephanie's wall with the tape. Oh, Damn it. Okay. Well, but that oh, doesn't that do work. anything. Anyway, and we're almost at the point where I left off in the game. I think I went to Edna's diner. Um, well, let's just go to Johnson to see if he has anything to Hello, say. Hello, Steve. How's the husband-to-be? Other than having no memory. All right. You should... Uh, right. You... Oh, yeah. Oh, for, yeah, for some now. reason, um, like, the entire dialogue for him started over. Like, it was at the beginning of the game. So, I have no idea what that happened. Um, I, um... Uh, let's go to Edna's. I mean, I don't want to talk to Mr. Johnson anymore, so... Whatever.
I can't talk now. The dishes are stacked up and back, and I better take advantage of the lull. I've whipped up a huge batch of brownies for the PTA bake sale tonight. I just wish I could do more to help out those poor bums. How will Most this of the bums that die in harvest bums. lack the money for a good Christian burial. The proceeds from this sale will help Mr. Moynihan provide them with proper burial services. Doesn't it strike you as funny that so many wanderers die in harvest? No, it strikes me as sad. You have an odd sense of humor, Steve. Mr. Pastorelli was electrocuted. He's dead. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole but didn't think of the consequences. Maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. That's no excuse for hurting someone else. Even if Pastorelli were alive now, his heart would be broken. And what's a little profit compared to that? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye! Yeah, Steve. Um... And I think that's all. Let's just, maybe I went to the, the school? Seeing you here again, my breast just swells with pride whenever I think about the PTA's valuable service in this community. Hope to see you at the bake sale tonight. When I went to get my hair trimmed this morning, imagine my surprise when I learned that the barbershop had been burglarized. And worse, that Mr. Pastorelli had been electrocuted. Harvest mourns the loss of an irreplaceable citizen. All of us will feel the loss only with the passage of time. Drop in again soon. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this is around the time when I realized that everything was fucked up and stopped recording and I had an emotional breakdown. So I want to load my old save file. I don't know why, it just seems right to have my original save file. Um, yeah, cause I was walking around trying to figure out what the fuck do I do, you know? Um, but yeah, um, so the only thing I think we can do from here is to go to the lodge and get our next mission. And here it is, the object dawn, imported Venetian glass and Italian dreams. You have done well. An unfortunate side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted because you left live wires in a puddle on the floor, but as those with affectations of worldliness say, say la vie. Is that all you can say? A man was electrocuted, or Pastorelli took a big spill, a permanent one. I'm gonna go to the first one. Pastorelli's own incompetence caused his unfortunate accident. What does it matter that you left live electrical wires hanging? in the water on the floor. If he hadn't cross-wired the alarm system to the sprinklers, he'd be alive today. Of course, you only wanted the pole, but that hardly matters now. Your final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner and let the French fry where they may. That's no minor so prank, far, that's arson! Forget it! So far, what a pity. Tonight, the big sale that's, no. commences. Soon, the annual harvest blood drive will be at hand. When sacrifice will be the order of the day, your time in harvest grows short. I don't want to set fire to Edna's diner. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. 
Uh, I wonder what happens if we go to the fire station. We can't go in there. I don't want to set fire to the fire to Edna's diner. Um, I'm really paranoid because you know after all this work I've done getting um getting the video up to where it was before. I'm paranoid that like it's gonna stop recording again. So I think and what time is it? I'm getting a little bit tired. So. Should I stop recording? I don't know. I can't talk. I've whipped up a huge bag. I think it starts at 6 and runs sale. until 10 o'clock. I hope to see you there. Mr. Pastorelli was... Maybe it's with the... That's no uh. excuse for... I feel... Um, I'm gonna call this one, uh, over, um, yeah, I, I just kind of feel a little bit tired and I'm kind of, um, worried I'll have another, like, equipment, not a, like, software snafu. So, this has been a horrible video game so far, a horrible story, and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds at the bake sale, because they've been talking about the bake sale for so long. Alright, I will see you next time. Stay safe and be good. Bye.